Hey guys, we're back. Welcome to New Brunchy. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We really appreciate that. And um, if you are already a subscriber, well, welcome back. As I said in the last video, which I'll link up here, uh, we're doing a quick series here on basic maintenance. And we did the first maintenance, which was an oil change and filter change. And today we're going to be doing an air filter change. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what you'll need to do it. This particular bike, which is a 2012 Ninja, two, uh, 2012 Ninja 1000, uh, has a K&N serviceable air filter. So it's basically a permanent filter you can clean and, and recharge, as they call it, uh, and reuse it. Uh, the service is exactly the same whether you're using OEM filter, an aftermarket filter, or an aftermarket uh, reusable filter such as the K&N. Service is exactly the same except for cleaning out the, uh, the filter itself. So, with uh, all that said, let's get wrenching. Okay, in order to replace the air filter, you gotta get under the tank. The tank is hinged uh, at the base and the tank swings back. In order to do that, we've gotta, one, take off the rear, here we go. We gotta remove the seat, which includes the rear and the driver's seat. And we'll have to swing the tank back. In order to swing the tank back, you have to first remove the fairings, both left and right side. At least that's what the manual says, and I think that's actually the best way, just to be safe. However, uh, I'm going to show you a way to do it where uh, you can do it probably without removing either fairing. Now, I've got the left side off right now. I'll show you how to do it on the right side without removing it. But you can see these two grommets right here. Um, oh, actually, one's missing here. It's on the fairing. Um, that's where the fairing actually hooks into, and so you got to be really careful about how you free it from there. And I'll show you how to get that done. To remove the rear seat, simply unlock it from underneath, pull it towards the front, and it pops right off. Next thing you need to do is remove the two 6mm bolts that hold the front seat on. And the seat just lifts right off, just like that. Then remove the two 5mm hex bolts holding the tank down. Here's a way to remove the other side of the fairing from the tank. Just gently pull it back from the tank and you'll feel it pop loose. And right there, there's two, or there's one of the two pins that go into the side of the tank. Be real careful not to shear them off. You can see you've got some room in there now where you can move the tank around. All right, here's where the tank is hinged to the back and it rotates backwards. And so we just need to figure a way to support the tank as we got it rotated back. I use a bungee cord uh, hooked up to one of those uh, brackets that the, grommet, uh, the grommets are missing from on this side. And gently pull it back, um, being careful not to damage any of the fairing that we did not remove. And be also careful to pull the overflow rubber hose uh, free so you've got some, uh, some slack in there. And then just attach the bungee to the grab rails in the rear. There's that uh, overflow uh, that you want to make sure it has plenty of slack in it. And you're all set. The airbox uh, cover is held in with about a million and a half screws uh, and one right in the middle. So you got to take those all out. You also got to remove this little bracket that's holding some uh, connectors on it. So let's just pop that straight up, just lifts right out, and put that out of the way. Then to remove the screws, just uh, get your screwdriver and get busy removing the screws. And do not drop any, be really careful. They're a bitch to get out if you do drop them. Also, taking out the screwdriver takes forever, so uh, you can see by getting a little impact there, uh, it goes much, much faster. And uh, carefully, carefully remove the cover. Uh, remember, there is a screw in the top, and right there. And do not take it out over the intake manifolds like I just did. Speaking of which, you want to get a clean cloth and cover those up just to make sure no grit and grime and screws go down inside. Then just get your finger underneath the air filter and pop it straight out. That comes right out. You'll want to remove all the grit and dirt and whatnot that's accumulated in the air box there. Uh, you can use a rag, you can use whatever you like. Uh, I use the uh, compressor and blow the stuff out. 
And then at this point, you just drop your new filter straight in if you're using a new OEM replacement. Or in this case, this nice dirty K&N, we're gonna go ahead and clean that. The K&N cleaning system comes with a cleaner and it comes with an oil uh, spray can or a squeeze bottle. I, I like this one, the spray can. You just uh, take your filter and spray both sides with the cleaner. Get it good and covered on uh, both sides. That was the top, this is the bottom. You can tell it's much dirtier. Then let it sit for 10 minutes, uh, right side up so it kind of drains out the bottom. And then rinse it with tap water uh, and from the top again, rinsing all the grime out the bottom. Then let it dry thoroughly um, and uh, apply the oil across each of the ribs. Uh, you can see it's uh, kind of a pink, uh, pinkish red color. So you can see where you've been. And you spray it on the top and you let it soak in all the way uh, to the other side, to the bottom. And uh, come back in about you know, 15 minutes or so and see uh, if it's all soaked through and it's evenly applied. If not, you can touch it up. Then uh, just wipe off any excess and drop her back into the bike. Next, you want to remove your uh, cloth cover and the intake manifold really carefully. Move it up. I removed mine to the rear so any junk that's on there uh, doesn't fall into the intakes. Then just uh, Put your cover back on. It'll go on uh, only one way and it'll, you'll feel it seat when you get it on straight, just like that. Then uh, put the screws back in. I put them in in kind of a crisscross fashion to make sure the air cleaner cover is seated evenly and it's not wonky, off balance there. And they don't need to go in really tight. Uh, they're just into plastic. Then drop your uh, bracket back in and are ready to lower the tank. And when you do that, be really careful and feed that uh, overflow back in. In fact, uh, you want to reach down below and find it and give it a little help pulling the slack through as you lower it. Watch out for the fairings as you do. Once the tank's in place, you can give the fairing a pop on the other side and get that in and place two bolts up front. Place the seat, bolts holding it in. Okay, so that was a quick air filter change, and I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed that and maybe learned something from it. Let me know if uh, these, uh, this series is uh, something you want me to continue to do. Um, I plan to do some other things as well, uh, basic chain cleaning and lubrication, chain tensioning, um, cables and cable lubing, uh, tires and tire pressure, as well as we might get into chain and sprocket replacement, although I'm not sure that counts as basic. That might be medium level uh, maintenance, uh, but uh, I'll be doing that anyway, whether I'll include it in this series or not, we'll see. At any rate, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends if you have enjoyed this type of content. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments, and as always, Ride safe and keep wrenching. Cheers.